grab the rest of this broccoli. Get a nasty crystal Pepsi. Grab the rest of this broccoli. Boom, boil it. I know there's gonna be some people, wait a minute, you're gonna boil all the nutrients out of your broccoli. It, this is one of the only vegetables you can do that shit with and it's not gonna take all the nutrients out. All right, I gotta hurry up because I'm trying to squeeze in a couple rank games before I leave. So I got a cup of rice here. I'm gonna go with half. I'm not gonna go with all. I'm gonna go with half. I just don't like the feeling of being bloated. And what I'm gonna do is canister the rest of this rice and save it for tomorrow. I don't have this shit on a scale or anything. I just know my body, all right? So I got some broccoli for my fibers and all that shit. You can't see my chicken, but you guys seen it earlier. It's under all this. Then I got half a cup of rice. And then I'm going to, before I leave, consume that lean patty. No carbs, no bread. Put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. And we're going to start this drone dip. Almost forgot, guys. I'm also going to be eating this for my break. About 15 grams of protein. This is like a vegan cookie. I don't know if you guys tried it, but it's bomb. You can check the macros out online. So I'll be having this for lunch, this for break, and this before I go in. It looks a little burnt, but it's just the flavoring and shit like that. What's going on, guys? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for dronage. You know what I'm doing. You see the white shirt. What does that mean? I'm going to my place of employment. Not a job, my place of employment. I got my food prepped. I got my drone mentality ready. See, what I do when I go to this job, I immediately, people want to drive slow, I immediately turn into a robot. I immediately shut down. I immediately dumb my brain down simply because there's no reason for me to use the high point of my IQ for a job like this. So when people ask me at work, why are you so quiet? Oh my gosh, you never talk. Talk for what? For what? I'm showing you a different layer of my personality that does not need to be seen, you know, that just needs to be seen at work. You guys don't need to see anything else. So drone cap on. Everyone, when you're at work at a job that you don't really give a fuck about, Here's what I want you to do. Don't ever be yourself. Be something totally different. Like for me, when customers come to the back donating a bunch of crap, you know what I do? I act so polite. I put on this extreme, precise, Will Smith, just demeanor. Even, but I never smile. That's one thing, I, I barely ever smile. For one, it's gonna create laugh lines. For two, I just don't feel that a stranger deserves my wrinkles, especially for a place that I don't wanna be. So that's what I do, guys. If you aren't in love with your job, when you work, put on a different demeanor. It'll make the day go by so much smoother if you just act like a different character. There's no reason to be you at a place you don't really wanna be. This is hands down the best shit. Clear America, you know what? Sparkling water does. Suppresses hunger too. So if you're ever feeling really hungry, down a sparkling water, your appetite will suppress a little bit. This is the best flavor too. You can get these from Walmart. Um, wild Cherry, Clear American, fire. Make sure you tie it back tight so you don't lose any of that fizz though. I swear, I try to get here on time every day, but it's something, I don't know what it is. I left 10 minutes early, the job is five minutes away, and I'm still late. It's still 2.30 on the dot and I'm not clocking in. I don't know what it is, man. I have absolutely no idea what it is. So, when you think about the aspects of life, what is it exactly? that you guys think about? What are the two most important things? For me, I have two most important things that I think are the pinnacle of life. If you guys were to think about the two most important things of life, if you could think of two words to decipher life in a whole, simply because of the, the time span that we're in, what would you say those two words were? Now for me, my philosophy is, Nothing is more important than two things.
time and revenue. Now why I say time and revenue are the two most important things because they just coagulate together, coagulate, whatever. So without revenue, I can't maximize my time. If anybody watches my streams, man, we kind of talked about this shit already. Without proper revenue, you cannot maximize your time. Think about it. So, it's vice versa. If you're always spending your time working for that revenue that's going to get you somewhere traveling when you're 50, you're not maximizing, you're not maximizing your time. So if I'm having extreme revenue, I can maximize my time. Extreme revenue, it allows me to travel wherever the hell I want to go. It allows me alleviation of stress. It allows me time to do other things. Now see, when people, when you have the flow chartness, once again, no shade, when you have the flow chartness, you're always stuck there. So you can't even practice your time. You can't even enjoy your time until you hit about 50, 55 plus. Now, someone who is really doing their shit, living their dreams, and really captivating on revenue, they have so much time to do things. Yeah, you're gonna be tied down, you're gonna be busy, but think about it. With proper revenue, you can, captiv you can captivate your time. How can you not? If I'm making right now, let's just say this metaphorically speaking, right? It's not even metaphorically speaking because it's gonna happen one day. Let's just say this, right? I land a role. I'm, do, I'm, I'm filming that movie for about a year and a half, right? Or let's just say a year, depending on low budget, whatever. Um, working on that movie for about a year. I'm going to have umpteen amount of time when it's done. Let's just say I clear, you know, I'm not even, I'm going to just shoot, shoot for some random number. Let's just say I clear about 500,000, 900K for the part. Now you think about that. I've, spent time working but think about what i can do after i clear that 500k that 900k i just captivated i just collected enough revenue to maximize my time from there i can buy myself more time you get what i'm saying i could buy myself more time with revenue right now let's just say i just say fuck it i'm a regular guy i'm just gonna keep working at this shit job i have right now and hey i'm good with making a uh, barely 500 every two weeks and this is just gonna be my life I will never have time to do shit because I haven't accumulated the revenue that's going to allow me to get out there and see the world, travel, take breaks, experiment, do this, do that. Without proper revenue, you can never maximize your time, ever. And when you do, it's going to be too late. Don't you guys want to travel in your, in your 20s and your 30s? You know, some, some even your 40s. There's people that you know that just can't even do that in their 40s because you're always you're you're always spending your time at a place. That's why it's very important to just to go for it. If you got a dream, it's very important to go for it because if you don't, you'll never you'll never know what the fuck. Here's what I'm using: a blueprint, right? This YouTube shit. This is a blueprint. Let me tell you guys a quick story. So I was like, I used to watch Mike Ross and Gutex on the couch 24 seven doing these excellent adventures. And I was thinking like, yo, I get mad at the game. Why don't I try to do something that that's gonna get me known? First step, the first step's always important. First step, I bought a camcorder. People ask me all the time, how did you get known? I don't even consider myself famous, popular, anything. I'm a regular guy. I, I will just say I'm somewhat popular. Popularity does not equal fame. Okay, does that is not equal fame is revenue popularity is just popularity. It's just like your high school jock. What's he doing now? Is he fat? Is he not anyways? So Basically what I did is I would watch these guys and I'll watch everybody in the FGC like how can I get there? Without winning a tournament, how do I get known? How do I become a personality in the FGC? And I really had to sit down and, and blueprint it how I can do this so Every time I would do a video, I would spam it on everybody's Twitter, spam it on everybody's Twitter, boom. Until one day, uh, Gutex tweeted me back like, yo, nice, nice, uh, nice cosplay with, uh, with Gokin. It, it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta, if you really want something, you gotta aim for it and gun at it. And I'm gonna use that same process with the YouTube shit, and, and you guys know what I wanna do. I'm gonna use it towards that. 
and then I'm gonna see results, man. I know I'm gonna do it. So think about two things, time and revenue. Without proper accumulation of revenue, you cannot maximize your time, it's impossible. I want you to think about that. Everything plays into it. Don't say, well, what about love? What about blah, blah? Everything plays into time and revenue, right? Everything plays into time and revenue. Just think about that shit for a minute. I won't have time to talk to you guys on my lunch because it'll be dark by then at times changing, but I'm about to enjoy this wonderful Larry and Lenny and Larry's complete cookie with 15 grams of protein like I showed you guys, eight grams of fiber, blah, 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 no eggs, no dairy, so my stomach's not gonna be bloated and fucked up. I have the rest of my sparkling water, and I'm gonna keep these vlogs coming. I will see you guys next time.